Michael Rubin go mega viral. Almost a million views on his video. These are all different book cards you got here? Yes. Wow. He's probably still sleeping. They beat us yesterday, too. Listen, I'm in a card shop right now. I just asked this girl what, what she's looking for. What did you say you're looking for? <laughs> she said she's a Devin Booker collector. Oh, my she's God. She's going through all of your cards right here. <laughs> <laughs> ESPN tweeted about this. this How big of a deep book fan are you? A really, uh, really big Booker. fan. I go to like all the Clipper games in LA because I like watch like all the Suns Clipper games in LA like twice this a year to see you play. But he's a bad person because he beat, he beat my Sixers last night. I'm burning. All, I'm buying all the cards. I'm burning them because I'm so unhappy. So unhappy. Thank you so much. So he awesome. just texted me and said, "What's your address?" He's gonna send you a signed jersey. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite NBA player ever. I've been collecting him for so long, so that was awesome. These are all different book cards you got here. Yes. Wow. He's probably still sleeping. They beat us yesterday too. Listen, I'm in a car. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't mean to make this like the Michael Rubin show, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I mean, it's hard. You know, he he's putting out these videos. Like, sure, it's it's marketing. It's good marketing, I think, in my opinion. But it's like, I don't know what people really expect. Uh, I don't know what people expect. Like, marketing is marketing. Like, it, it's just obviously, if you have the opportunity to do something that's going to be good PR, good marketing, you should be doing it. Like Michael Rubin, again, like I talked about this in the past. Like, I don't think we realize how famous Michael Rubin really is. Like he's just able to do, FaceTime Devin Booker in the card shop. And also I thought it was really cool that they were at Burbank and ESPN posted it on their TikTok. And I mean, the other, it was on, it was on like ESPN, like the channel as well. I don't remember. I think it must've been on sports center, but like, like I said, ESPN, they posted about it. They posted the full video on their TikTok, and maybe it could have been part of the, yeah, I don't know, maybe something like this probably doesn't just, you know, happen serendip serendipitously. Like it's probably something that's a little bit planned, but like at the same time, you know, I think it just shows like the, like what Michael Rubin has the opportunity to do here. And I think with this video and then also like the video that they put out with the new patches, like there have been, they have been in the news much more, I think, than Tops or Panini really ever have in the past. Like, and for stuff that I think is not just like, here's a new million dollar sale. Like, here's a new, here's another million dollar sale. Here's a scandal. Like, you know, we're we're putting Burbank as well in a video that has a million views. So like now people would probably know about Burbank. They, you know, there's a bunch of great pieces about this that I don't want to seem like I am just always talking about Michael Rubin, but it's like when he's doing these types of things, like I think it's good for marketing for the hobby. Like, you know, because the million dollar sales, although that probably is going to get the click, I think uh, of somebody writing an article in reality, like, does that help somebody transition them into sports cards? Like does, because like, like nobody, in my opinion, nobody, in my opinion, looks at like, an article written by ESPN about the about a million dollar sale and is like, Oh, well now I want to get back into sports cards. Like this, this piece of, you know, whether you want to call it marketing, whether you want to call it PR, I think that this is an opportunity where cards are being shown. Michael Rubin is getting his face out there. Devin Booker is also kind of getting into cards a little bit here. I think that there are tons of things within this video that, that make the marketing of cards a much much better than like just looking at like ESPN writing an, or Forbes or any of these top, you know, media outlets writing an article about the next million dollar sports card sale or, you know, whatever the product is or something along those lines. And I, I get it. I get it. Uh, people will look at it and say, well, it's just marketing. It's just a puff piece for Michael Rubin and fanatics. And I'll say, yeah, but it's like, well, I don't know what people expect them to do. You know, I think I've seen a couple videos about like, people potentially getting like loaded sports card boxes. Like I think there was one where chasing cardboard had a box. And then there was one about like mama breaks who was in those influencer cards, maybe getting like a box that had the loaded card. And I, it's like, I don't, that's fraud. First of all, that's fraud. Uh, like uh, Ja Rule said in the Firefest documentary, that's fraud. Like that's, you, I don't think that's not good. That's not good marketing. In my opinion, that's just deceiving customers. 
So I don't necessarily think that's what they are doing. Like if they're giving, I, I, I think it's more likely that there are just a ton of boxes that have cards that are low numbered, low numbered in them. than then that, that they have, and then that they have loaded boxes. Um, because do I think that is an issue? I think potentially, I think that there, there are company there, you know, Panini, for example, like the backyard break scenario where they, that just doesn't make any sense to me. And Panini never came out and said anything. And I, I don't know, they probably never will, but it's like, I don't know. It's the social media aspect of cards. People blow things out of proportion a little bit, I think on a lot of things. And I think if you look at the, I think the, the real solution, the real topic is always somewhere in the middle. In my opinion, I don't think it's always the good, always the best 100%. I don't think it's always the worst. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I think, you know, this is the second time in the past couple of weeks that Michael Rubin has come out and had sort of a viral video. I mean, I guess maybe the him at the sports Chicago spectacular, maybe it wasn't a viral video. This definitely was, um, had, like I said, a million views on, um, actually, I don't really, I don't want to do that. Cause that's, that could be dangerous. They had a million, I had a million views in a day on ESPN, which they post a lot of, you know, viral stuff. So either way, um, still pretty cool. I'm, I, you know, still I, I'll cover it. I'm just going to cover it. Like anytime there's viral video stuff, there's viral stuff like this with fanatics with Michael Rubin, you can probably expect me to talk about it because it just is what it is. Like the, they're sort of, you know, the top people within this industry now, whether we like it or not. So the stuff that they're doing is going to be important and, you know, going out there and making a video where that has a million views that, you know, they tag Burbank sports cards. So it's like, it's, there are good things about this that I, I don't know. I, th I think people are maybe overreacting when it comes to it being just marketing. Like, I think, you know, this, this is sort of the one-on-one -on -one experience that I, you know, I've had people on the show talk about that they hope kind of maybe comes more into sports cards here. The one and one of one. These are all different book cards, you guys. That one of one fan experience is I think what will make cards more popular. Um, at least I hope so. I think it will, but it's also how, you know, fans are going to create, moments and these viral moments and moments like this, we should be celebrating because in my opinion, we're creating moments for fans, for young fans like this one that involve cards. So it's like, she got to meet Devin Booker. And now and also, I think at the end of the video is that they're going to send her a Jersey. So it's like, but that also that moment, that phenomenal time that she had, it involves cards. So it's like, this should be something that we should be, I don't know, celebrating a little bit more. I think we, we do, in my opinion, I I'm going to, uh, but you know, down the road, hopefully we start to see, you know, more stuff like this from Michael Rubin creating these experiences within cards.